Have you ever tried running stable diffusion or ComfyUI on your own machine only to get hit with small renders, crashes or no GPU at all? Whether you're an AI artist, marketer or just want to create AI content, it sucks not having the power. Oh, come on! That's why I want to show you something that I have been testing and it's called Cephalon Cloud. It gives you instant access to ComfyUI or WebUI in the cloud and you don't need to download anything, you don't need to install anything and most importantly, you don't need no powerful GPU. I know a lot of us are hitting a wall when they are trying to do AI content creation. Stable Diffusion needs some serious GPU power and ComfyUI setups can be messy. And I'm pretty sure not everyone has a thousand dollars to just spend on an RTX card. Cephalon Cloud fixes that, you just log in, you select ComfyUI or WebUI and you're generating in seconds. So let me show you how it works so you can try it out yourself. All right, here I'm at the starting screen of Cephalon AI. You can see this is the URL. I will also put it in the description of the video and also as a pinned comment so you can quickly find that. Now, you can see on the left side, we have the menu. We have Computing Hub, where we have AI GC apps. We have My Apps. Then we have Online Generation and API. Here you have AI GC models and API management. We have our account, etc. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to AIGC apps and here you can see the apps that are available. And the next thing what we need to do is we need to select an app that we can use. We can filter these apps by these or we can just select them from all. We have Comfy UI, we have Stable Diffusion and a lot more. And there are more apps coming. Now, when you look at the different apps, you can see which GPU you can use and you also have some information about the app. Now, let's say I want to use Stable Diffusion. I will hover over this. I can see the GPU I can select from and let's click on Launch App. Then we get this pop-up screen where we can find the settings. Now, first of all, we need to select a server type. We can pick from normal server or professional server. When we hover over this question mark, we get some information about the server. So a normal server, it is more suitable for users with time periods has a higher cost effectiveness and can meet normal usage needs. Then we have professional server. This is when the GPU is occupied. It supports fast file pooling from SAP cloud space to new application can be transferred in seconds. And the cost is slightly higher than that of ordinary servers. Let's use a normal server. Then we need to select a GPU. And when you click on the GPU, the information about the GPU is underneath it. So when I click another one, this changes. Let's say I want to use this one. I will select that one. Next, we have the billing method. So basically you are paying per minute, per hour, per day, per week, or per month to use the GPU. You also get some discount if you select a longer time period. So let's say you select per minute. When you select per minute, you can pause your time. When you select per hour or per day, this will start running and you cannot pause it. So keep that in mind. So if you want to use it for a couple of minutes, for instance, don't select per hour because you cannot pause it. It will run the whole hour and you basically paid for the whole hour. So in that case, select per minute so you can always just pause it. Then we have the random username and password, which you can close or open. This enables random username and password to protect your application's privacy. Let's keep it open and the number of apps, I'm gonna do one. Here we have the configuration cost. So it's 38 SEP per minute, which converts to $0.008 per minute. And here you can find the account balance and you can buy more credits if you want to. Now let's say I want to use this one. I have my settings done. I will just click on use now. And now it's gonna load this up. Now we are in my applications and I have two applications running. This is the one I just created and you can see it's in queue. So that means that it's just loading up now. And this is another one I activated like an hour ago. I had a billing method per hour and the one I'm launching now is per minute. So this one we can already use. This one is launching now. Let's use this one and let's just go to I got it. And now you will get another screen where we can use Stable Diffusion XL. So here we are in Stable Diffusion and this is all running in the cloud. 
let's now select a checkpoint let's say i want to create a disney kind of movie poster and here we have the prompt for our generated image let's create a dog that is eating sushi in a restaurant and this will be some sort of a disney poster let's change the size here let's do it a little bit widescreen like that and let's just click on generate for the sake of this video to show you how it works you have all these settings here this is just stable diffusion settings which you can change and here you can see this is our generation and look how quick that was done we have our image done you can also upscale here for instance if you want to make your image bigger in size here we have the upscaler you can select from different upscalers to upscale your image now let's go back to text to image and let's say i want to create a youtube thumbnail let's select the size i think it's 1280 by 720 let's say i want to select another stable diffusion checkpoint let's do something like this one let's do a cup of coffee on a table just something really simple and let's click on generate and there we have it a cup of coffee on a table so you can see how fast i can create these artworks without having to use my own gpu we can all use this inside Cephalon AI. So how much does this actually cost? Let's look at the price. So to use Cephalon AI, you have to buy credits. You can see here we have 70,000 credits for less than $10. And as you buy more, you get some discounts. So for $120, you get 920,000 Ceph. So Cephalon runs on a pay as you go model. So there is no subscription costs or anything. You just pay for what you use and you don't have any upfront costs for GPU. It's way cheaper than AWS or RunPod. So for creators that don't need the GPU power 24 seven, this is a great option. If you want to try Cephalon Cloud, check the link in the description of the video. I will also put a pinned comment so you can quickly find it. And I will also add a discount code. So thanks for watching this video and catch you on the next one.